Well, good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening, or whatever time it may be for you. Welcome to another Yukon Bob video. Back on the Sea Dew today, and this time we're heading out on uh, Muskoka Lake. We're going to do a day trip today. It's going to be a Muskoka Lake trip, and then that connects into Lake Russo a little bit further up. Rosso, Russo, never sure how to pronounce that. But this is, uh, by the way, one of the better boat launches in all of southern Ontario. One thing, it's free. And secondly, it's actually a really good launch right over there. And then there's free parking right up here in this sort of hotel parking lot. I think it's a, a residence in by Marriott. But most places in Southern Ontario charge you, you know, $15 in, $15 out, and then another $15 for a car, $15 for a trailer. Time you're done, it's about 60 bucks. But here, it's a great launch and it's free. So beautiful day. Let's get the sea to in the water. Do a trip today on Lake Rousseau, Muskoka Lake. Basically just a day trip, so I've got uh, some extra gas I'm carrying along, a cooler, a couple of snacks, stuff like that. So let's get this thing in the water and head on out. Unhook the other side. And put that back over like that, maybe hook it in there. Okay. Maybe one more check here. Oh, I should get my uh, other shoes out. Try to keep everything just in a box in the back of the truck so I know where it all is and it's easy to get to. But you always seem to forget something. Take this water too. Throw that in there. And a little mini tripod. Just put that in there. start move over here isn't this a beautiful spot though what a great dock that is too and there's also another dock over there that you can tie up along there all right so now I've got some suntan lotion on the face and around the neck and a bit on my legs because the Sun's gonna be pretty bright and intense today so the UV factor is gonna be high so I think we're set to close up the lid Everything's secure, yeah. Let's get the uh, Navionics underway here. Get to the app. Where is it, uh, Navionics? Right there. And I've got the Garmin with me today too. It wasn't working last time, but it turned out that the problem with the Garmin was is that it wasn't plugged in properly in the back. I finally found that out after I did all the testing of the wiring to the battery and all of that. It just wasn't connected properly to the actual unit itself. It had to stick in a lot farther than I thought. So it turned out to be no problem at all, but uh, it took a little bit to figure that, figure that out. All right. Beautiful morning here in Gravenhurst. It took me about an hour and a half or so to get up here from where I live. Nice drive, traffic wasn't bad. Left at about uh, 7.30 this morning by quarter after nine or so I was here. So it's a fairly big body of water. This is probably uh, what you would call the Ritchie Rich area of uh, Southern Ontario in terms of cottage country. Lake Muskoka, Lake Rousseau, Lake Joseph, all of those lakes. That's where all the multi, multi million dollar properties are and properties that have been in uh, the family for, for generations in most cases. Probably not an inch of land around this lake that's still for sale or still open, I mean. I mean, there's stuff for sale, of course, but it's cottages all the way around. But beautiful, uh, beautiful area. So this should be a really nice day on the Muskoka Lake. I'm gonna go out and just explore around a bit. I have been here before. Been on this lake maybe once, maybe twice, I can't remember. Not not a lot. And I was with a sort of a sea dew riding group the last time I was out here, so this is the first time out here by myself.
there's a little smaller cottage right tucked away in there. There are a lot of smaller cottages around the lake, things that have been here for many, many years, probably passed on from one family to the next generation. Don't you love those Muskoka chairs, those red ones there right on the, on the rock on the shoreline? They're kind of pretty. <laughs> Two-car garage for your boats. <laughs> Gotta jump in the hill. No, three, no, four. Four bays. Two for boats though. The other ones don't have entries. Boat house down here. Yeah, it's a beautiful country around Southern Ontario. Lots of lakes, lots of water, lots of opportunity for people to get out, but it's all become very, very expensive. And part of the story with COVID-19 is that you would think maybe, you know, with more financial hard times for some people, that some of this stuff might be coming up for sale a little bit more, but it's probably going the other way from what I read in the newspaper that a lot of people are wanting to get out of the city and work remotely. Now that people have been working remotely from home, you know, they want to do that more often. And some companies are saying, you know, it could be a year before people are back in the office in any great numbers. So a lot of people now making the choice to maybe work from the countryside, get away from Toronto where all the uh, the COVID-19 cases are, get up into the cottage country area where it's very limited in terms of COVID. So real estate sales are actually kind of booming up in this area now. It's a three suction cup mount, and then it's connected to this extension stick. It's made by, uh, tighten that up a bit, it's a bit loose, made by DJI for one of their Osmo uh, cameras, but I use it uh, for the GoPro Max 360. I mount it on there, I can either put it straight out in front or straight up and down like that, mount the camera right on top there, and uh, then I can shoot 360 video right from in front of the sea -Doo. And I've got a little safety wire on it. You can see it there. Just in case those suction cups come loose and the thing falls into the water. Put the suction cups right on the front there with the safety wire, just in case it were to pop loose. Okay, let's put the drone in the air. If you like a sand bottom, I guess this is the area to be. This is all kind of sand or maybe a little bit of mud out here. Looks like sand. Nice piece of property right along here. Quite a few little cottages. This would be great for kids, right? I mean, it's all shallow, quite a ways out. Come out and just play here all day. I'm trying to connect the, uh, the GoPro to the GoPro app so I can see what the GoPro is seeing on my phone says it's connected you can see the uh, what, what the GoPro is seeing right on the app so I've got a hero session a GoPro 8 and a GoPro Max so you just switch between cameras and you can look at what each camera is showing you and then you can also turn it off turn it on uh, that sort of thing so it gives you kind of a little bit more control on your phone with the GoPro app as to what the GoPro is seeing Gives you an opportunity to frame the shot, recenter it, sort of stuff like that. So it's just kind of handy. You know, it is kind of a few more buttons to click and press and stuff like that, but uh, gives you some more options. I'm starting to get a little hungry. It's just about lunchtime. Brought a little chicken with me, an apple, banana, one cold beer. I find a little spot where I can have lunch, a little bay somewhere. Seems to be cottages just about everywhere though. No. Okay, this is the spot I am gonna have lunch. There's a bit of shade in here. And uh, I'm not on somebody's front doorstep of their cottage, so I can have lunch here. <sighs> a drink. 
I should close that, keep that cool. Got a little platform right here. Some carrots, some scones, a little bit of chicken, some leftover ribs from the other night. What else have I got here? Oh, a couple of carrots. Mmm, these are good. Barbecued these last night. Little baby back ribs. And I can just throw the bones in the water. Biodegradable. My face dirty? <laughs> I don't even know if I brought a napkin. Well, that was a great little spot for lunch. A little bit of shade, a little privacy. People all over there probably got their binoculars out or watching what I'm doing over here. Just whipping along the lake and saw this Anukshuk. Look at the size of that thing. I think they had some equipment in here to put that together. You didn't lift those rocks up. That's really cool. Okay, there's a couple of brave kids here who I think are going to jump in the water for me. I don't know if they're going to go in or not. Look, 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 they're going. Look, look. <laughs> Woo. How's the temperature? Oh, it's cold. It's cold? You get used to it, yeah. Is that a sea Yeah, yeah. Just out for a little ride today. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. See you guys. Okay, take care guys. Uh, Have a fun day. <laughs> They're not afraid of the water. I wouldn't be jumping in yet. Is that a neat mural on the building up there, Fort Garling? That's cool. There's the lock up there. And I think I'll have to pay a fee to go through the lock. Tie up here somewhere. Okay, hang on there. Shut that off. No way. I'm the first person through? Has it not been opened at all this year? No, it typically will all the basket. Oh yeah, look at the fish. Are those bass? I think so. I'm not sure I'm not entirely sure, but... I don't know if you can see those or not, but there's about three or four little fish in there. Pretty decent size ones. Yeah. Uh, no, this one typically doesn't open up till the second week of June. Okay. More, more or less, usually, unlike this year, but usually the current is so strong uh, in May, but we had such an early melt this year. We could open, but yeah, by the bylaws, the second Monday in May, and here we are. Second wow. Monday in June, at least. And, uh, That's amazing. I am the first, first person. One. First person. The 2020 season is now open. The 2020 season is now open, and it's a sea dew. That's the first one through. Perfect. <laughs> do I owe anything? No, and it's also free right now. What? Yep. Because we haven't figured out how we're collecting money safely. Uh huh. So my boss just said, just let everyone free. Just let them go through and bring some good news to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this place from last year. The boathouse with the Canadian flag on it. That is a big Canadian flag. Patriotic landowners. They got a couple of flags flying from the cottage itself. One on the other side too. That's pretty. I wonder if I should fly the drone here.
get 20 bucks worth. You're allowed to sit on the dock and hold it if you want. Okay, I'll do that for you. Every marina has its own rules and regulations pertaining to gas. Yeah, well. And this one is get off your vessel and just kind of hold it. How much is gas? Uh, 159. 159? Yeah. And is it premium? Uh, it's mid. Mid. Okay. That'll do. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day out. I came up from Gravenhurst. Been out since about 8.39 this morning. Uh, is it a nice, uh, nice out in the water? Yeah, it's calm. You know, I got an app called Windfinder. I use that quite a bit and it's fairly accurate. Gives me a pretty good indication of what's going to be happening. Yeah, and I... Uh... I have a buddy who has a map, I think it's called Navionics. That's what I use too, Navionics. It's like, oh, it's great for fishing. Oh, Navionics is just a fantastic app. Shows you every little marina, how to get there. Yeah. Lays out the lines for you, can zoom in, zoom out. It's handy. So I didn't really ever need that garment up top, up front there. Yeah, was this the, well, I'm assuming that came with that. No, I, I added it, but that's before I knew about Navionics. Yeah. Now it's just off my iPhone. It's perfect. I was basically at the top end of the lake system when I gassed up, so I just turned around and headed my way back towards Gravenhurst. Thanks for coming along, guys, on another Yukon Bob video. Had a lot of fun out there. Had about seven, eight hours on the water and felt a lot more comfortable by the end of the day flying the drone off the sea -Doo. Have to do that a little bit more often. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next Yukon Bob video.